Hey Sarah, so um, thanks again for the awesome chat the other day. Here is a visual of the table that I was talking about. Um, and it's the general template that I first do a walkthrough with students just to get them into the groove of things. Um, but basically I just call it combined commentary, you know, just I don't know, I like the alliteration in it. And come to think of it, um, teachers across any content area could use this table, this concept. It's really versatile. But um, what I did do, and granted you could totally spice things up, add the bells and whistles, make things color-coded or do whatever, but this is just the basic uh, rundown. Um, I do like having students actually put in their names, you know, who's the contributor, the page number that they f are going to be referencing, the specific example, so your concrete evidence, uh, who said it, and then um, the specific comments and thoughts on that particular example, and then the final box, as you can see, basically allows other students to provide commentary. So this is kind of like, I guess you could consider this like a blog. Um, you know, you could definitely blog about this, but it gives a nice chronological component to any kind of reading. And especially if you're reading a novel or a play, um, it definitely allows that, that continuity. So I hope that this visual helps and I hope that you could use it as well um, because students actually do find this pretty useful when it comes time to writing essays for instance and they can actually go back and utilize the information in here um, they can have their concrete evidence right here in front of them they can take a look at the supporting commentary and then they can actually find perhaps any rebuttals or counterpoints uh, from responses from their peers. So I hope this helps. Um, oh, and one final thing, as you can see, I actually changed the layout, the page setup for it to be landscape just because of um, spacing of the comments and responses that could come in. You know, they're rather long, so rather than have it in um, the you know tall and skinny way, use it in the long horizontal way. Anyway, and that's it. Hope this helps.